Hey everyone, it is Havel High here, bringing another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be breaking down EZA Merds Zamasu. We're going to do some also some Extreme Z Battle team builds as well as this unit is dropping on Global. So with that, if you are new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. And always shout out to DBZ Space and the Dokkan Wiki for info and images provided. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's go ahead and go into the details first about this new EZA, this corrupted Murdzumasu. Um, I think it's a very, very interesting unit. Um, definitely not as good like as a Vegito Blue uh, that recently came out on Global, but still uh, it is a nice, nice upgrade for this unit here. So this is Wrath of the Absolute God Fusion Zumasu. I am always gonna be calling it Murdzumasu here. And um, this, uh, the leader skill had turned into extreme class key plus three HP and attack and defense a hundred percent, which is a pretty decent uh, leader skill, really. Uh, if uh, you're you know newer to the game and don't have a lot of units, um, that extreme class key plus three a hundred percent across the board is solid. The super attack did get a really, really nice boost here. It causes immense damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense, which is minus 50% for three turns and raises extreme class allies attack by 30% for one turn. So if you put this unit in the first spot, uh, it will go ahead and buff 30% to uh, attack SA for the other units as well. So nice little uh, bonus there. And I always, uh, always talk about the easy A um, uh, SA15 SA multiplier at 630 for immense damage. So anytime a unit gets an EZA at immense damage, it is the highest, that's right, the highest SA multiplier in the game, even beating out an SA25 Mega Colossal EZA at 620, which doesn't make any sense to me. But uh, yeah, 630 is uh, the cream of the crop, tip top. So uh, the passive skill got a nice little boost as well. This uh, Discord of gods and men, uh, the attack is 140, super class allies attack minus 10%, which I wish they just took that out. It's still not an overly huge deal if you're going to put uh, super class allies on the team, but uh, it's kind of annoying with that 10%. And then super class enemies attack and defense minus 20%, which is a, which is a nice deep buff there. With extreme class realm of gods category allies defense plus 50%. Now, generally speaking, you are going to be running a full Zamasu team with this uh, unit here. So, and generally speaking, you're going to be uh, running mostly realm of gods units as well so uh, all those should be getting 50% um, in, in, in defense there of course including himself and I really wish they would have given for example like attack 140% with a defense of 50% and then additional defense with uh, category allies realm of gods that would have been you know much better or they could have provided an SA defensive boost uh, on top of this because 50% defense isn't all that great uh, solely just with uh, with fuses of Masa here, comparable to all the other EZAs and other units that are out there. So, uh, and we'll talk about the stats in a second. And it's it's just not quite high enough to uh, to make this a really really strong defensive unit. Attack wise, at 140, it's going to be really solid with an additional SA multiplier on top of that. So the link skills: Nightmare, Godly Power, Fear and Faith, Fuse Fighter, Big Bad Bosses, Dismal Future, and Fierce Battle. So if you're going to be running this with other Zamasus, it's going to link up incredibly well. Along with the categories here, Realm of Gods, Patara, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Last Resort, and Explosion Anger. The stats uh, increase, you know, fairly good. So it's uh, eight or 16, eight for HP, 18,000 uh, attack, which is solid. And however, it's a 10,000 defense only. That's why I wish they would have provided a little bit more defense of boost in the passive or the SA. So. Uh, it is going to be a little bit squishy, but uh, but that's okay. And uh, if you are going to be running this with the other extreme units, big bad bosses under 80%, you know, you're going to get that nice little boost as well. So let's go ahead and jump into, uh, um, you know, the extreme Z battle and what you're going to need to be bringing to complete this EZA here. So uh, uh, Merzumasu is an extreme tech unit, so it's going to be weak against Super Int R already. But it's the, the category it's going to be weak against is Worthy Rivals. Now, the issue with Worthy Rivals, uh, it's not really much options that you have with Worthy, worthy Rivals. So probably a Super Int is going to be where you want to uh, focus on. But uh, we'll, we'll create some team builds here and see if we can help you uh, have some ideas on how to complete this EZA. Now, at level 20 and above, the additional damage reduction of 81%, which is a kind of an odd number there, but 81% usually is like 80%. So... Um, it's against all AGL, all tech, all strength, 
and extreme units. So you can't use any extreme units, so that's out. And then any AGL tech or strength units, even super, you can't use either. It's not going to do anything. So you're really only going to be able to focus on int and physical units, uh, super to be exact. So super int, super physical is the one that you're going to be only using to actually do any type of damage on Merzumasu here. So, okay, let's go ahead and start with some team builds. Uh, first and foremost, the easiest team build to kind of really take a look at uh, really would be the Worthy Rivals team, right? And unfortunately, Worthy Rivals is run by a physical unit, and uh, that unit is um, Piccolo. And Piccolo really needs a nail on <laughs> on his team to uh, really get his buff. And nail, unfortunately, the only nail you want to run is AGL, and he would be just a sitting duck and would, would do nothing on this team. So if you were going to run a Worthy Rivals team, a full Worthy Rivals team, it's going to look something like this. It's going to be uh, three Vegetas uh, on here. Um, you have Super Vegeta, you have Super Saiyan Vegeta, and you have Vegeta Blue. So uh, those are the three units that you're going to be running as uh, Worthy Rivals. And once again, it needs to be Physical or Int. And then you have that, um, that uh, Int Beerus that you can run um, that can probably do some decent damage here and then uh, androids as a support or you can do some damage there as well so uh, unfortunately this has three and including a friend would be four uh, physical units which you're not going to get the type advantage but you are going to get the worthy rivals advantage when you're fighting Marzomasu. so that's one team that you can run the other team I think would probably be the easiest team to to beat um, the uh, the event would be just running a, uh, a super int team so you have a lot of options as Super Int, and then you can also run three Worthy Rivals units, uh, Super Vegeta, Vegeta Blue, and Beerus. So those three are going to get additional boost on top of uh, being Super super Int. And then you're going to be running a 50% um, a uh, support lead as well. So if you're going to run Double Gohan, that 50% boost uh, is going to be fantastic. If you want to bring another support, you can bring another support, or you can bring someone else uh, down in the kind of the uh, option uh, below as another damage dealer, and that's fine as well. So uh, I think this will work out really, really good, and uh, yeah, I think this would be probably the best team you can run. Now there's another team you can run too by using Godku as like kind of the semi leader here, but then you're going to be bringing in uh, um, pure Saiyans and hybrid Saiyans only. And you can kind of do that. There's some limitation to that, but uh, but it is definitely possible. Primarily, if you would like to move Beerus and just add someone else in here, you can do that, like a Gohan or something like that, and uh, an LR Gohan, and then this leader can buff up at uh, at 130 percent. So that can work out there. So the other team that you can run will be a Realm of Gods team. This is kind of the similar scenario here, where it's going to be primarily in units. You can bring, oops. You can bring uh, this bad boy on here, and uh, he doesn't doesn't matter if he's not physical or worthy rivals. Vegito Blue can do some damage, so uh, so he can be brought there as well. You can bring this guy as a support. He's only going to get 50% uh, buff, but uh, he also provides additional 50% to everyone else. So. Um, so either way, so a Realm of Gods team can be run here and uh, could be very beneficial to beat uh, Merzumasu. So another team that you can run would be Pure Saiyans. Pure Saiyans is another option here. And uh, so instead of maybe running two Pure Saiyans, uh, Vegeta, transforming Vegeta, you could also again run this unit here where uh, you're running uh, Pure Saiyans 130 um, and Hybrid Saiyans, right? So wait a minute, am I, am I thinking wrong here? Uh, uh, you know, Gaku LR is pure Saiyans, right? It's pure Saiyans, and let me uh, let me double check here. <laughs> I'm I'm uh, it's pure Saiyans and hybrid Saiyans. Yeah, okay, so I'm right. So you can run this as a secondary leader. So you can have two of these units here, and uh, instead of uh, two transforming Vegetas, now you're gonna lose a little bit of boost, but uh, that's okay as long as you're bringing uh, all pure Saiyans and. Uh, you should be good to go. You can also bring a Hybrid Saiyans if you wanted to, which is not on here, like a, like a Gohan, but um, like in Gohan, things of that nature, but then you gotta make sure you watch out because that unit's only gonna get a super class key plus three uh, HP attack defense 100%. So, um, so in this team here, you're able to bring two worthy rivals in uh, Vegito, Vegeta Blue and uh, Super Vegeta. So, and then the rest, some of your alts you can bring down there as well. 
Now there is one free to play team that you can run. So this is the last team that we're going to go over in, in, in combination wise. So the last team you can run is the free to play team. And I would say this is, you know, there's a lot of options for free to play units for this team here. So um, if you do have the int uh, Goku as the free to play reward for Super Battle Road, then uh, everything else is probably going to be very easy. And uh, there are a few worthy rivals units you can run as free to play. You can kind of see, uh, kind of shown there. Uh, do you want to bring <laughs> Hit Piccolo? No, I just add him on there because hey, you know what? I I'd never be, I'm never able to put uh, Hit Piccolo anywhere. So uh, yes, Hit Piccolo is an option as a worthy rival, but just as a defense unit, he'd just be sitting there, you know, taking damage here. But you do have a couple physical worthy rival units here uh, in Easy A Piccolo in. Um, in uh, Beerus in the Monaka costume and then LR uh, Puar or LR Yamcha Puar so uh, the rest you know is very optional you can kind of mix and match and put other different units in, in on this uh, you can run a, a you know a couple support units on here uh, Goku's already support you can I don't know if you need to bring another support like the like the uh, April Fool's Bulma but uh, you know some good options some good options not 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 super limited like some other um, times that you're able to uh, try to be easy with free to play teams so uh, let's go ahead and quickly recap here's your free to play team here here's a pure saiyans team that you can run here's a realm of gods team that you can run you can run super int which i think it would be the best one here and then of course worthy rivals so hopefully you gain some insight on this upcoming Mirzamasu. He is very good here. Make sure you just don't bring the AGL Tech Strengths uh, Super or Extreme or any Extreme type units, and then you're able to um, you know beef up this unit into its uh, its Extremes Awakening. So anyway, with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it. So with that, if you are new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. And if you're an OG, thank you for your continued support. Hit that notification button to stay up to date with my latest videos. Thank you all for watching. Keep on dope hunting. We'll catch you next time. Later.